class, we are going to see how to. Create a flat file as an output. OK, or in other words, target as an flat file. OK. So let's go to our repository manager. I'm connecting this. Connect. And then I'm going to design now. OK. So we will work on this one only. OK. So we have only. Uh, OK, on this, which one we'll take? We'll take a. Uh, we'll take departments. OK. Departments. All right. So now here in the target designer, what we have to do is OK, before that, what I'll do is I'll help you guys with something like this. It helps me as well. OK. OK. So what we have to do is in the target design of go to target. Create. Or write a name for the target. We are doing it for department, right? Department. Flat file. I'll create like that. Create and then done. Here. And this what we have to do is double click. Total table. We have already created the name. We don't have to do anything here. Just come to columns. Click on this. Add new column to this table. One, two, three, four. I believe there are four columns right let's take four columns and each column name we have to write department id department id is a numeric column Right, with four length. Okay. Since it's a flat file, we do not have to mention anything. Okay, in the key type. Next field, we have department name. Department name. It's a string. Or right. It's a string with 30 characters. Next, we have manager ID. Manager ID is a numeric. Right, and it got six characters. And the last one is location ID. OK, location ID as well, number, but it has four characters. OK. That's it. Nothing else. If you want, you can mention the date format here. Okay. I'll keep this as a date format. I'll click OK. There's no date, but I'm just showing you guys. Apply. Okay. Control C. Department has been inserted. Now let's go to Mapping Designer. Take the department. Put table to flat file and it's a department. Departments table. Okay, we are taking this. Now we should be having this here. It is a department flat file. Okay. I'll tell you guys where it is saved actually. Okay. Select all, save it, control S, wrench, go better visualization. Now let's go to workflow. Click OK. Workflow, create. Workflow, WF. Departments. 
okay click okay and then take this session put it here use this able to flat file take the link click get choose this and go to error and then put one in the mapping check where is the source coming from it's coming from the table that's correct and here you should have a file writer so that is why we do not have any connections here okay that is right here in the header options choose output field names okay and here we can write the output field name what i'm going to do that file dot csv i'm going to do it as csv in the rest i'll keep it as it is apply okay save your workflow should be valid let's run okay sorry so we had 27 rows and 27 rows has been written to the target so now where is the target i'll show you guys okay in the pc go here informatica 1.2 server info share target where is the target file here there you go just showing you guys 27 count correct that's what is the count for okay uh, i can also show you guys here as well if the numbers are matching so there are 27 records in the database as well so this is how we do a table to flat file mapping thank you everyone